गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज योर कंप्यूटर टीचर देवदीप सर बैक विद अनदर लेसन ऑफ कंप्यूटर फॉर यू नाउ टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डू रिवीजन ऑफ चैप्टर नंबर 4 ओके स्टूडेंट सो फॉर दैट ऑल ऑफ यू टर्न टू दिस पेज नंबर दैट इज यू हैव टू टर्न टू पेज नंबर 24 सो टर्न टू पेज नंबर 24 ओके so in this chapter what are we going to learn about children we are going to learn about what we are going to learn about keyboard we all have studied about keyboard isn't it that keyboard is a particular device that works like a typewriter and it is used for typing words or numbers okay so without further ado let's see what is there in the chapter for us Okay. So again, you remember which page? Twenty-four. Okay. So all of let us turn to page number twenty-four. Yes. So keyboard. Okay. What is a keyboard? Let us see. a keyboard is an important part of a computer yes so keyboard is a very important part of a computer it has many buttons called keys so the different buttons that are there in the keyboard what is it known as it is known as keys okay so please underline this so the different buttons that are known as key keys okay and what are the buttons this keyboard has many buttons which are basically called keys now what is the use of this key the keys are pressed to enter words or numbers okay so the key is pressed to type words or sometimes even numbers okay so these keys are used to give what they are used to give instruction and what did we learn about instruction children instructions are commands that we give to the computer so it is used for giving inst commands then to the computer so whatever we are typing okay suppose if you try my name is resta so computer is getting the command that the user who is typing her name is resta okay understood clear or not okay so let us go to the next page now now there are different forms of keys available okay now see what are the different forms of keys that are available we have alphabet key we have the space bar key we have the backspace key now ideally the keyboard that we see is called qwerty we see call it qwerty because if you see the starting letters of the keyboard it reads in this way q w e r t y this is the sequence so because the sequence of the key is q w e r t y qwerty how is it pronounced qwerty because the sequence is as such what type of a keyboard it is called qwerty keyboard okay and we were seeing that the important keys are alphabet key repeat after me alphabet key space bar backspace and enter key okay what are the key alphabet key space bar backspace and enter key okay now see all these different types of keys are given below so all the different types of key already we can see there before you what are those these are the first one is that is written in qwerty that is what is this called this is alphabet key whenever you will see up down left right arrow this kind of key is called arrow key what is this called arrow key 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 so this type of keys are called what these are called number key what key number key whenever you will get sign like dollar into 
स्लैश ओके वॉट आर दो सिंबल की वॉट की सिंबल की ओके Now see, there are other different special keys also that are there. Some of them like enter key. Okay, what is the enter key used for? You already know. Enter key is used for entering value. Shift key cap is used for shifting or used as a modifier. Modifier means those key that can be used as used with another key rather. Okay, so write down. Shift, Control, Alt, Tab. They are called modifiers. Okay. What are modifiers? I told you these are those keys that can be used with other keys. Those key that can be used with other keys. Okay. So those keys that we can use with other keys. What are those called? Those are called modifiers. so some of the examples like enter shift okay sorry uh, shift alt control okay these are all examples of the modifier other key that we can see on the list if you can see here what are those okay let me rub this for you now all these things i believe all of you have noted ha ah. so enter key enter key shift key caps lock key now what is the use of caps lock key caps lock key is used for deleting items okay so what is the use of caps lock caps lock is used for deleting uh, sorry caps lock is used for giving capital letters okay so whenever we want to type anything in capital letter we use the caps lock key whereas i was talking about deleting isn't it it will be done by the delete key okay so caps lock key is used for typing anything in capital letter that is big letters all right delete key is used for removing or deleting something now backspace key delete key erases whole data like suppose you few time your name as ajastha okay ajastha so i know one of your name is ajastha itself the students watching the video so ajastha if you type your name if you press delete key the entire name will be removed okay but now if you click uh, type backspace one by one the letters will be removed okay understood and as i told you control key is the modifier so control alt shift are modifier key apart from that now the longest key in the keyboard what is that the longest key in the keyboard is space bar which bar space bar okay so children because we will now we we'll go very slow in terms of your revision so not many pages we are going to do in one day two pages at once and the exercise questions answer again i will give it to you because many of you have missed so very slowly we will learn okay now so your homework will be to study this portion all right and i'll be asking certain questions okay later on all right or basically you will may be asked to do the exercise questions also as homework okay like particularly if you need the question answers i will give you but you have to go through the chapter nicely okay so with this we come to an end of the lecture for today thank you and have a nice day